Today you're going to learn how to make pumpkin pie chai milk tea. If you're a pumpkin anything and everything, and a chai fan too, then this drink was meant for you. Welcome to the special series on how to make bubble tea shop milk teas in the comfort of your own home. There are over a dozen bubble tea powders for home use that you can search for and buy online. As always, the ingredients and conversions are in the description below. So, let's get started! First, we want to mix up the pumpkin walling. This will be the inside decoration that we'll be applying on the inside of the cup. This is super simple. It's just a one-to-one -one ratio of pumpkin puree and sweetened condensed milk. The thing that makes this one a little slightly different is the fact that we're going to be adding some of the pumpkin spice mix to it. We're going to mix it together and then stick it in the fridge and get it nice and chilled. For your cafe, you can make this up in advance and keep it in an airtight container in the fridge for up to five to seven days. So first is the pumpkin puree, and I've already got it in an airtight container ready to go. But when you do make it from a can, it'll look something like this. You want to make sure that this pumpkin puree doesn't already have any pumpkin spice in it, right? So it's literally just pumpkin. So when you look at the ingredients, it says all natural pumpkin. That's it. This will really allow you to fine tune how much seasoning you want to put in this mix. So I'll just pop that there and open this up. And see, I've already got that ready to go here. So I'm just gonna take one tablespoon, pop that in there. And then for the sweetened condensed milk, again, this is what it looks like in a can. I've got this nice little at-home squeezy type product here. So I'm personally just gonna be squeezing in one tablespoon right now. And then last but not least, we're going to be adding in some pumpkin pie spice. Now this happens to be a brand that I brought back with me from America, but I know you can also source this online. If you're unable to find it online in your country, then there are many different recipe variations that you can discover, and all of them kind of have different mixes of the spices, but I'll tell you what's in this one. So we've got cinnamon, ginger, lemon peel, nutmeg, cloves, and cardamom. Mm, sounds nice. Mmm, wow. That smells really, really good. This definitely encapsulates my thought process for autumn. The leaves turning and beautiful sunsets and just kind of that slight chill outside. Yeah, it's nice. So we're gonna put in about an eighth of a teaspoon for this measurement. But again, the more you make, the more you'll put in and you'll just wanna find your own personal preference or your customer's preference for exactly how spicy you wanna make this mix. Just mix this up real well. So we're gonna put this in the fridge and get it nice and chilled so it's ready to go for our drink in just a little bit. Now if you're making this at home, the next step would be to brew the tea. We're going to go ahead and put two tablespoons or two tea bags of black Assam tea and brew it with 180 milliliters of really hot water. Leave it to brew covered for 10 minutes. If you're making this in your cafe, your black tea will already be pre-brewed. At that point, when we get to the next step, you'll put 50 milliliters of hot water, stir your ingredients together, and then add 150 milliliters of the pre-brewed black tea. But because I'm making this at home today, and I know you might be too, we're gonna go ahead and do this next step. Next, we're going to be putting all of our flavor components into our shaker. Now, this is a 500 milliliter shaker, but the drink will actually be about 350 milliliters when we're all done. I've actually used 1883 in my bubble tea shops, and the thing that I enjoy about it is it allows me to decide how much sweetness I want in my beverage. So with other brands sometimes, when I'm mixing flavors together, I find that the beverage eventually becomes too sweet. But with this one, I can mix a bunch of syrups together and then decide afterwards how sweet I want it to be by supplementing it with fructose, fructose powder, honey, etc. So after you've made this beverage, you at home or in your cafe 
can decide how sweet you want it to be by omitting any of the fructose from the recipe today. Alternatively, if you want more of a punch flavor with these syrups that we're gonna be putting in, you can actually add more and not be afraid of the drink then becoming overly sweet. So that's why I'm excited to make this recipe today using their product. To measure my powders today, I'm gonna to be using an industry standard brown bubble tea scoop. This is approximately a heaping tablespoon. So first, we're going to do two flat brown spoons of the creamer powder. And I actually get a lot of questions if this creamer powder is non-dairy or not. And it actually is. In the bubble tea industry, sometimes it's called non-dairy creamer powder. But there are actually full dairy ones out there as well. And next is one flat brown scoop of the vanilla powder. Next is two flat teaspoons of fructose powder. Now, if you're at your cafe, you'll be doing 14 milliliters of fructose syrup. And if you're at home, a really good sugar substitution for this drink would be honey. Next is five milliliters, or a teaspoon, of the chai syrup. Mmm, that smells real nice. Then five milliliters or one teaspoon of date syrup. Mmm. Now, if you own a bubble tea shop, you probably already know this, but all of these different brands of syrups have their own pumps that you can affix on top. And the measurement of each pump tends to vary five to 10 milliliters. So for example, with the chai and the date pump, you would do pump, pump, which would be five to seven milliliters probably, depending on what kind of pump you have for 1883. And then of course, for this one, it's gonna be 15 milliliters. So that would be three pumps. This new pumpkin pie syrup is wow. If you've ever tried pumpkin spice syrup before, you know what it tastes like. But this one is pumpkin pie spice. It literally takes things to the next level. So we'll be using 15 milliliters of this. When your timer for your tea is up, pour it into your shaker and stir until combined. Fill the shaker with ice. Put on the middle lid and the top lid and shake well for one minute. You know the drink is ready when there's a really nice condensation around the outside of the shaker and majority of the ice has melted. We are now ready to assemble our drink. First, we wanna go ahead and put the pumpkin mixture on the inside of our glass to give it that walling effect. This is very simple. You just wanna take a nice scoop of it and pop it on the inside and just swirl this like that and or the cup at the same time. Super quick and easy. Now again, this is mostly for decoration, but it does add to the flavor a little bit as well. And I'm gonna put just a tiny bit in the bottom also, and then that way you'll kind of get a little bit of that when you pop your straw down there with the boba. Next is my topping of choice, which of course is boba, AKA tapioca pearl. And last but not least, we're gonna pour in our pumpkin pie chai milk tea into our cup. That looks amazing. I'm gonna go for the fall theme today with an orange straw, put that in there. And I love whipped cream as you know, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some on top. Because as you know, you can never have too much whipped cream. And just for decoration, a little bit of the pumpkin pie spice on top. Wow, this looks so good. I can't wait to try it. Cheers. Mm. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. 
I love autumn. I love pumpkin anything. And this just encapsulates it all. You've got that pumpkin pie spice taste, nice creamy, little bit of spice in the background, nice and sweet. And then you've got that undertone of the chai. Mmm. It definitely lingers in your mouth after you've taken that drink. I think the thing that really makes this extra unique and special, it's not just your basic pumpkin spice, it's a pumpkin pie spice chai. It's like taking pumpkin to a whole new level. You're taking the rich creaminess of the pumpkin pie, putting it with the undertone of the spiciness of the chai, combining the two together, and it is phenomenal. I love this. It is so, so good, and I cannot wait for you to try it at home. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your time, your comments, your likes for the YouTube algorithm, and you as a subscriber. Please be sure to click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more amazing future drink videos, and I'll see you again soon. Take care. I mean, who would ever think to make a pumpkin pie chai milk tea? Well, here you go. Here's your recipe. Give it a try.